Hey guys, how's it going? Troy here, Packers Corner. Uh, second video of the night. I ended up getting a big, giant box in the mail, I believe, yesterday, but I was not able to get it. Uh, so I had to go this afternoon after school and pick it up. And it was a box from PSA. I got both of my, actually, my whole package, my whole submission. Uh, popped this last week on Monday, and it actually got here by Friday. Go figure that one out. So they did a great job on that one, at least getting it fast. This is from October. We've been waiting a long time for these. Uh, it was back when it was a 45-day submission, day turnaround, and now it's pushed up to 50. And so I guess I got mine in there. Uh, what's funny is is that I signed up for 45 days. I sent in 29 cards, me and my, uh, my buddies. And it took, I believe it was, let's see, it would be exactly 40, let's see, 40, I think about 47 or 48 days is what it took. Um, and that was for, for 29 cards. We sent in a shipment of almost 70 cards, 80 cards, and it, it took 51 days, 52 days. So I'm almost thinking, man, I wish I would have doubled the size and we would have got the cards back in about the same amount of time. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm talking away. So what I figured I'd do is go ahead and open these up and show you guys what, <coughs> what we got today. <coughs> and... Uh, <coughs> Again, it's um, my cards and my buddy Barry, along with my other friend Bill. Uh, we all go in and we share the PSA sub uh, subscription. We all cut it in three pieces. We all share the um, um, when you get your 15 free grades, we cut it up, and that way we all can share it and the online stuff. And uh, I don't know, it makes it a little bit cheaper for everyone to do that. Plus, we can all send stuff in. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these out and showing you guys all, all the little goodies we got here. I just got to grab one. And these are the new cases. And yes, I can tell the difference in the thickness. That's the first box. You can see how thick it is. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the whole thing out here. I think this is... Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, let's start on this side and use this as a... Sorry guys. Ooh. Use this as a platform. So, Alright, first card we got. I'm going to try to go through these as fast as I can, guys, because I know you guys... Um, <coughs> don't want to look at every one of them. <coughs> My buddy Bill, <coughs> yeah, he's a huge Chiefs fan, and so he sent off a lot of Chief cards. This is a Panini Score, uh, Niall Davis, Chiefs Autograph, Blue, uh, PSA 8. Next card is also a Niles Davis. <coughs> uh, this is a just a, a base score, and it's a PSA 8 autograph. So we got two of those like that. And I'm surprised. These ones I'm looking at them right now, they look real straight. I mean, the corner looks like it could be, you know, like a little nick on it. But even the green one, just barely have a nick. I mean, I'd expect these to be a nine. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, they are what they are. So, next one, this is actually a, a Panini Elite Eric Fisher Hard Hats autograph. And it's a gem mint. That's actually a see-through card. Um, I don't know if I have something I can put behind it. There you go. I think you kind of see it a little bit better. It's actually a see-through card. Uh, PSA 10. Beautiful looking card. And I can totally tell the difference in the thickness of these cases now. I really like them. That is a beautiful card. That is a really nice card. This is the first time I've seen these cards. I haven't pulled them out yet. <coughs> so you're seeing them at the same time I am. This is a uh, Travis Kletch. Is it Kletch? Kletch? Kles? Uh, it's a Hard Hats autograph. Uh, it is also one of the see-through. you got a PSA 9 on it. Beautiful looking card. Great looking card. This one's numbered out of 199. The other one was numbered out of 199 also. So they're <coughs> both numbered out of the same number. <coughs> I apologize, guys. This is coughing. I think I'm going to go see the doctor next week because I'm tired of it. Uh, this one is a, a Panini Elite Eric Fisher Golden Status Die Cut Autograph. Numbered 11 out of 49. And he got a PSA 8 on this thing. I don't... I really don't understand why this got an 8. And th I mean, I really look close at these, and I don't see anything wrong. I mean, the die cuts I've heard at times can be tough. But I just don't see it, man. I, d I really don't see it. Here's another one. This is a uh, Niall Davis. Uh, this is a Topps Autograph Refractor. Uh, PSA 9. I don't think it's numbered. Great looking card. Next one is, this is a Topps Platinum uh, Niall Davis autographed black refractor numbered out of 150 and it got a PSA 10. <coughs> and let's see here, I want to make sure I get these separated out so everyone gets theirs. 
All right, let me put that one <coughs> over here. <coughs> All right. Here is another. This is a Eric Fisher. Oh, this card is beautiful. This is an Eric Fisher uh, Panini Rookies and Stars. My favorite longevity Sapphire Signature number nineteen out of twenty-five of Eric Fisher, PSA ten. That card is just beautiful. I'm not even sure you can tell the refraction on it. That card is just gorgeous. PSA ten. That is awesome. Great looking card. Great looking card. Uh, all my chief friends out there, these, these cards are probably. Look real nice. And this one is a Rookies and Stars. It is also an autograph longevity. This is a 9 of Travis, is it uh, Klesh or Klesh? There's, it's not numbered. It's a nice card. And I believe those are the ones that my buddy Bill sent in. I believe all the rest of these are... Yeah, these are my buddy Mark. So Mark, uh, Mark, not Mark. Uh, Barry, if you're watching, here's your cards coming. There may be more for him in the other box. In fact, I know there may be one more for Bills. Uh, here are the ones for uh, Barry. Barry, here's your first card. This is a 1995 uh, Collector's Choice Michael Jordan card, PSA 9. I thought this one was going to get 10. It looks pretty good. It's a great looking card, though. Great looking card. So we got that one. Uh, Barry's a huge racing fan too and he's also of course a huge hockey fan he's a big Gretzky fan he sent in this press pass Matt uh, Kenseth Kenseth I may be saying his rank, last name wrong uh, it's a PSA 9 great looking card here's another one this is a 1999 Upper Deck Gretzky Gretzky Hall of Fame Career PSA 8 this one's also not numbered Great looking card though. There's a little bit of nicks on the corner and I knew that we talked about it and it wasn't going to be a 10, but he wants to collect a bunch of the Gretzky's graded. So here's another Gretzky. It's a 1994 Topps OPG uh, or OPC Premier Wayne Gretzky PSA 8.5. I think this is the assist leader one. Here's another one. This is a, a 94 Topps OPG Wayne Gretzky. I think this is a uh, yeah, this is uh, League Leaders, PSA 9. <coughs> this, is a, also, this is a wonderful card. If you're a hockey fan, this is a great Gretzky card. It's a 1981 Topps Gretzky Euler Leaders, PSA 8. <coughs> it's a great card. Love that card. I think it may have got an 8. Um, I'm looking at it. The card looks great. It's a little off-centered. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's more this way over here, and the back is the same way. So that may be what really pushed it down some. But the corners and the edges are immaculate. The, I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, everything else is, seems to be fine. I don't see any other marks or anything on there. So I'm going to guess that's why it got pushed down so low. seems like Panini's been doing more of, of lowering the grades lately than putting the little subgrades on them. Uh, this is a 1989 Opeachy Brian... Leech or Lech, uh, PSA 7, I'm not sure if that's his rookie card or not, you guys will be able to tell me more than anything, and then the last one from this box is a, a Fleer, a 1987 Fleer update of Mark McGuire, uh, and that's a PSA 7, and this one had some real bad problems on the back, it's real chipped on the back, um, the corners don't seem, well, the corners are a little bit soft, not really bad, but it's not got perfect centering also from, it's higher up than it is to the bottom. So, anyways, that's those. And then in this box, I had one card of my own, and it's got some, it looks, looks a little scratches or something on there. I can't, I'll have to look at that closer. This is a 2013 Panini Rookies and Stars, Eddie Lacy, Team Logo Holofoil. Uh, it's number 21 out of 32. And I got a PSA 8 on it. And I'm not understanding how I got an 8 on this card. This card is, is, is like be it's a beautiful card. The, out of all the cards I sent in, I thought this one had the best chance of getting a 10. But it's a great looking card. I mean, I take an 8, I believe them. But to try and find another P uh, number to 32, it'll be hard to find one. I'm going to go for it, though. So, uh, so that's my first card. And so uh, there's one there. Anyways, guys, that's the first box. I'll make a video for the second box. There's not as many. So uh, be prepared to, for part two, guys. See you soon. God bless.